Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So, in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Vanilla Mocha Cafe line from Bath & Body Works. I am so excited to share my thoughts on this collection with you guys because if I made a whole video about it, you know it's going to be good. So, um, if you're interested in seeing what I think of all of them, all of the products in that whole scent, then just keep watching. So yes, I'm going to get it out the way quick. I did not put makeup on today. I put a little bit of lip gloss on before this, but this was like my outfit going out running errands today. So I just figured I'd just pop on here and do a quick review for you guys. But I do have Vanilla Mocha Cafe in every form possible. So I'm super excited to share with you guys what I think. And I think I'm going to start off with these three guys. So let's go with the fine fragrances first. So just going to show you guys kind of the packaging on here. I do have my ring light on today. So if it's a little blaring, I'm sorry. Um, but I have been using this for the past couple of days and I have to say it smells so good on the body. I, okay. In the spray, let me spray one more time on myself on my body so i know everyone's body chemistry is different with fragrances but on me i really get heavy mocha and it smell smells kind of like hershey's chocolate syrup to me on my body so i do get a little bit of like a little bit of floral but usually florals give me headaches like massive headaches and i usually can't i usually can't do any florals but this has a slight floral note and I have had people tell me that it gives them headaches before but for me it doesn't um so I don't know what that's about but I definitely smell kind of like whipped cream and chocolate syrup that is what the fine fragrance mist smells like on me so let's move on to the shower gel now the notes on the shower gel and yeah, the shower gel and the body lotion have the same notes, and I think for the fine fragrance mist, it's the same. So the notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. So I think the vanilla orchid is what I was smelling in the spray. Um, but I have to say that in the shower gel, I seriously smell like straight mocha for sure. Like in the shower, I put this on my loofah, I get straight mocha. Oh, it's so good. So. I definitely like this one the best um, out of all the types because it smells like straight mocha coffee. So I really, really like this. And then for the body lotion, this one gives me more chocolate vibes than mocha. So I wore this last night to bed. I've worn it a few times, but I noticed wearing it to bed, it kind of made me feel really cozy. So yeah, I get a lot of like chocolatey chocolate syrup rather than mocha like mocha coffee this type um oh let me show you the i didn't even show you the packaging on here let me show you the packaging on here um very very pretty nice and simple the back just is a white label but i have to say this formula is probably the least fragrance out of all three um it doesn't linger too much I think by the time I went to bed, like a few hours after I had put this on, I didn't really smell it too much, but I would say that in the body lotion, it is more of like a chocolatey syrup and a little bit of that floral note. So that's kind of like the difference between all three of them. And then for the coffee scrub. So this is actually called coffee and cream coffee bean body scrub, and it is a heavy exfoliator. So I think the packaging on this is really beautiful. And here's the back. This really reminds me of when you walk into a coffee shop and they have the chalkboard up there and they wrote on it like a really pretty font. Um, that's what this reminds me of a lot. Actually, I guess this whole line, um, but this one especially. Now this one, I have to say it definitely is a heavy exfoliator. You can tell. I use this on kind of like a little scrubbing round and I scrub it on my body and usually it doesn't, that thing on its own, that scrubber on its own is not very like exfoliating but that's why I use a body scrub with it. And let me tell you, this thing exfoliates. It also gets your shower a little messy, but it's nothing that doesn't wash off. So it doesn't stain or anything like that. And there are coffee grounds in this. It smells like you just brewed coffee. 
that's what this smells like and it is this dark black color it's like a very 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 dark brown it is literally the color of like espresso and that's what it smells like it smells like straight espresso straight coffee oh it smells so good it's really really good for like my pamper days are usually whenever i exfoliate my whole body and gosh i just want to smell it again okay i take back what i said on the shower gel i think this is probably my favorite i don't get okay let me read you the notes actually on the body scrub because they are different than the shower gel body lotion and body spray so on the body scrub we have fresh ground coffee vanilla milk and sugar crystals so in comparison the shower gel is cozy cappuccino instead of fresh ground coffee vanilla orchid instead of vanilla milk and white tonka bean instead of sugar crystals so yeah there's no floral note in this um there's just the coffee really is what i smell like sweet coffee though i have to agree with this sugar crystals yeah it is like a little bit like sweet coffee yeah this one this formula is probably my favorite out of all three of them out of all four of them what am i saying there's four um but yeah i definitely recommend if you like anything coffee flavored or coffee scented i would totally recommend picking up this whole line and if you like anything kind of mocha scented too you would probably like it as well i would say that if you are prone to not liking the like floral scents i would stay away from the fine fragrance mist i think this is like a one-off thing where i'm not turned off by the floral notes in this spray because i usually am always turned off but yeah for me, I'm fine with it, but I would stay away from the fine fragrance mist if you are prone to getting headaches with all the floral scents. But yeah, I, I honestly love this. It is so good and so yummy. And I feel like it's like a treat that I get to put it on. So yeah, I'm probably gonna pick up more, maybe hopefully in SAS or something, or if they have another like really big sale, then I can pick some up. But those are my thoughts on everything Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to do more reviews, then just let me know down below. I'll be happy to do those for you guys with what I have in my collection. But thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!